All right, guys, so in this video, I'm going to talk to you about OBD11 and basically go through what it does, how to use it, and why I think it's super important to get one if you own a VAG Group car. All right, guys, so essentially what it is, it's a little device like that, which plugs into your OBD port in your car. And the beauty of it is that it's wireless. It's basically like VCDS, which is the diagnostic cable you plug in and then plug into your laptop. Uh, but this is all wireless and works off either a phone or an iPad or an Android tablet or anything like that. Um, so you can clear fault codes, code different features onto your car and clear like different lights and do resets, adaptations, everything. Um, so this is the box, super small. It was actually surprising like I'd seen it on videos and it looked really big, but it's tiny. Um, so you open that. You get a little leaflet instruction manual and then you have the device itself so it comes with a little keychain thing you can put on but that is literally the size of it so if i put that in my hand literally fits in the palm super small and on the golf i don't know if you, the obd port's like right there and when it's plugged in you cannot see it because of how small it is so Let's plug it in and then show you guys the app. Okay, so this is under the footwell and you can see the little purple thing on the camera right there. That is where this clicks in. So I think I got it. In. There you go. And I did not know it lights up. I've only just seen that on the camera. That is pretty cool. Because from up here, from the driver's side you cannot see it you can literally just see the chain hanging down but yeah anyway so that's plugged in the next thing you want to do is turn your ignition on and then connect it to the app okay so the obd11 is plugged in the ignition is switched on you can do it with the engine running as well um but my battery is fully charged so i'll just leave the ignition running um and then you download the app which is obd11 right there and then once you do that, if you go over to home, it, will, it literally gives you all the instructions. First plug in the device and press connect. And then you'll see it pop up over here. Go ahead and click that. And you need to enter a password. So I've set a password. Once you enter that, I lied. My, I said my battery is fully charged, but it's not. Okay, so once you're plugged in and everything, you can literally go ahead and click that button and it will then run a full scan on your engine. I have 23 different modules that it's going to be scanning and it'll go through every single one and tell you the problems it's found. I haven't cleared mine in a long time, so... I have gone through them before, they're nothing major. Okay, right, so the scan's done and it says I've got nine problems. So if you want to see them individually, you go to this button here and it'll tell you this is an engine module, transmission module, and you'll see red or green. So I've got a code here for the engine. Um, go into faults and it'll actually tell you what it is. Engine control module. That is because I have an immobilizer, so I haven't cleared it. Um, but when you're inside the module, you can do a whole load of different things. So you can do long coding, which is what you do if you have VCDS. If you want to code new features, that's what it is there. So you can actually do this wirelessly, which is really good. Um, you do a whole load of other stuff. I haven't really gone into detail on what those do yet um but yeah, you can see the different modules uh so i've got another code there another one there so yeah you can go into all of that so if you go into the app section here this is what i think most people buy obd11 for um so if you don't know about the long coding or how to do it um this pretty much packages them up into individual things so you can just scroll through choose what you want and then add it on so for example say i want us style turn lights go ahead and click it it says there's 10 credits to do um and if i want to do it just go ahead and change value and turn it on or off and it's as simple as that pretty much um in terms of credits you can buy them i think if you buy the pro version like this the pro pack the blue one um it comes with 200 credits for free like built into the package um otherwise 
you can buy them here so you get five a day if you watch an ad say i wanted to do that i didn't have any over two days i could just watch two ads and get enough to do it or you can buy them right there alternatively you can do the long coding by looking up online and then do it manually but for ease of use this is really nice um, I'll scroll, f scroll through the different options that they have and then I will actually choose some to do myself as well so feel free to like pause the video if you see anything you're interested in This is a 2015 Golf GTI Mark 7, by the way. Um, so if you own one of these and you're interested in seeing the different options, that's actually what I'm gonna do. There's actually quite a few pace car indicator see if you go on my channel i made a video on how to do this manually with vcds um but this literally would have taken two seconds had i just got this before um there is a few interesting things on here i've seen which i am definitely going to be doing this is another one i find really annoying i don't know if you can see it on the camera either there if you go ahead and press auto so the fans on automatic but it doesn't tell you what level it is whereas if you do it manually you see here I've got the indicator so this when when it's on automatic it will actually tell you what the speed is at which is another one I'm gonna do for sure mirror dip on reverse that is key A lot of these you need additional features like on your car, spec from factory. For example, I just saw here traffic sign recognition. But the good thing is it will tell you. So if say I wanted to do that, under requirements it will say vehicle must have multifunction camera installed, which I don't have sadly, so can't be doing that. Change the logo. And yeah, that's it for adjustments. So if we go back to the top of the list, retrofits. So if you decide to retrofit a few things, you can go ahead and adjust it here. And then workshop reset. So this is things like, I don't know, resetting the oil light, tire pressure monitor, brake pad, um, reset the service intervals. You can do all of that through this as well, which is really nice. So yeah, that's it in terms of features, I think. All right, so all I'm going to do now is go through the list, code the things I want on the car, and then I will put them at the end of the video so you guys can see the differences. Okay, so now that it's coded, hopefully oh there we go so when it's on automatic now it will actually tell me what fan speed it's set it to which it never did before which is really weird but okay so if you do want to purchase the obd11 if you haven't got one already um i'd highly recommend it i'll leave a link in the description below so you can go ahead and click that go onto the website and see the different packages they offer i think they offer a starter pack um another one and then the pro one one comes without credits one comes with some and i think this one comes with 200 uh so go and click the link in the description below check it out i will also leave a referral link in the description below so if you are going to purchase it and click through the link it will help me out help the channel out a little bit um if you have any questions or anything like that feel free to drop them in the comment section below give me a follow on social media i'll leave it right there um you can dm me on that or anything and i will try my best to get back to you as soon as i can other than that Hope you enjoyed the video. Drop a like rating if you did. And yeah, I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace.